Yeah. Liner for a couple. Of, uh, and I'll make it very quick. Questions. Yes, I'll, I'll try to make it very quick. Uh, one, there's a. Uh, uh, we have people in military custody in Iraq. Is that correct, Secretary Panetta? That's correct. And there's a uh, suspect called Doc Duck, a Hezbollah suspect who has been accused of plotting the uh, the murder of five or six American soldiers. Do we know what's going to happen with him? at the end of this year? Uh, we, we've, made, uh, we've made our concerns uh, known to the Iraqis uh, about uh, the importance of, uh, of detaining uh, that individual, but others as well that uh, we're concerned about. You agree with me if he's tried in an Iraqi court, it's not, justice is not going to be delivered. He should come to the United States and be tried by military commissions. I think uh, he, he would certainly find better justice here. Okay. Uh, and I, I, I promise to be very quick. General Dempsey, did any Iraqi commander ever suggest to you that they did not need follow-on force, or did they, did they ever object to a follow-on force? No, the, the Iraqi military leaders were u universally uh, supportive of us continuing to partner with them. One last question. <clears throat> Do you agree with me that if we had 10 to 12,000 U.S. forces, performing uh, refereeing duty between the Kurds and the Arabs, embedding counterterrorism, intel gathering, training, that the likelihood of Iraq becoming a successful, stable state is dramatically improved. I'm not equivocating. I don't know, Senator. I think that probably the, there's a higher likelihood that it would be stabilizing. But there is, nevertheless, the possibility that it would be destabilizing. Would you recommend to the president if the Iraqis would accept, uh, give us immunity to keep troops there? If, if the Iraqis approach us with the promise of protections and we can negotiate the uh, missions, right. then uh, my recommendation would be to find a way to assist them. Is that true of you, Secretary? Thank you both.